Hey, what's up guys? It's Archie here with another unboxing video. Uh, it's been a long time since I've unboxed any kind of firearm on this channel. And honestly, uh, firearms is a big part of what I do and what I consider a big responsibility. So uh, before I get into unboxing this uh, new Glock 43, I wanna go ahead and take a look at the firearm that I've been carrying for the past several months. This is the M&P 9mm Performance Center Shield. A couple features that it has, uh, it has the fiber optic sight, the uh, slide cuts here at the top and on the barrel and I also threw on some uh, granulate texture talon grips but anyways this has been great it's been really lightweight it's slim it's compact I shoot it really well I'm very accurate with it I've made a video shooting this if you guys want to see a demonstration but anyways uh, I love the trigger uh, it's just a great firearm but one of the things that I do when I go to the range, you know, I, I check out other firearms and I rent them and, you know, I try them out and I've always been a fan of Glock. I've always shot Glock pistols well from their subcompacts to their full size. And this may sound silly to some, but a lot of the YouTubers that I follow and a lot of my friends that I respect a lot in with firearms, uh, they carry Glock and they swear by Glock and they love Glock. So Glock is a really polarizing brand. Some people are gonna hate it, some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna be Glock fanboys, and it's just a nonstop war with people in the industry. But anyways, this is clear. I probably should have showed you guys that before, but uh, nothing in here. This is a brand new gun, so nothing in there as well. Um, but anyways, I shoot Glocks well. I can't say that I shot the 43 better than the Shield, but the reason why I'm switching over to this is because I just want to have a really smooth transition. I need that continuity and I just want to be part of that ecosystem. I mean, the same form factor, the same shape, the same grip angle. I bought the Glock 45 as well. That's going to be my home defense gun. Even though they don't take the same mags, you got single stack and double stack. They do have a lot of similarities. I just want to keep that same flow going and I don't want to interrupt that. Some people think that's a little bit over top. I don't. I have the ability to get rid of this and sell this and get this, you know, just pay a bit more to upgrade but anyways that's the reason that I'm switching and this is gonna be my new everyday carry without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the box so here's the front this is pretty standard for Glock guns you have this hard case what's funny is I, I think that some people are gonna hear this and be like oh that's kind of silly to note that but if you look at other firearms they come in cardboard I mean they come in cardboard they don't have multiple magazines they have one so this is somewhat of a big deal that you already get a good worthy carrying case for your pistol to take to the range or to transport it in your car, whatever. So a really good solid case. Um, we'll go ahead and open it up and you'll see the inside and it's foam padded. I mean, it's a great carrying case for your gun to transport, for storage, whatever. So really good foam padding. The first thing, uh, as most firearms are gonna include, or as far as handguns go, you're gonna have a safety lock, you know, if you guys wanna check it in uh, as you're traveling at the airport or you know taking at a gun show whatever you have this available lock and key glock also includes a board brush which i kind of almost really find this a little silly i'm not really going to use it because i i have a full size carrying kit that has all the stuff that i need as far as the capacity goes for the glock 43 some people are going to feel like it's undersized and under capacity but six rounds okay six rounds plus one for the chamber one of the mags that includes is one with a extended uh, pinky grip so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick the one in the gun right now is a flat base plate the extra one is to have that extra pinky on the gun, which makes a massive difference. So unfortunately it doesn't add room for an extra round. So even though it is extended, it's just gonna be six rounds. Both of these are six rounds plus one in the chamber. There are aftermarket accessories to increase the capacity of your magazine, but a lot of people online are honestly reporting a lot of malfunctions and failure to lock back and this and that with some of these aftermarket extensions. So until I find one that's really reliable, I'm gonna go ahead and give a hard pass on those. But anyways, before I get into this, let's look at the next accessory. This is pretty much the final one here. This is just another fast mag loader. What you do is you just stick your magazine in there. Oh, excuse me, like it's actually this way, like so and you just feed in ammo and push this down. So a really quick, simple, and cheap way to do faster reloads. I don't really care for this or use this. There is, a, if you guys are looking for a recommendation for that, there is the Maglula. It's a great brand, a really great speed loader. Before we get into this, let's go ahead and take a look at 
what's included as far as the inserts go. You got all these warning labels here on the side. I'm not gonna get into that. Important safeguards. I honestly don't really even want to look at this. But uh, this pistol was shipped with a lock. Please carefully study the enclosed materials. Sure, we can do that. I'm just gonna tear it open. I don't really care. It is a bit thick, so I'm assuming there's a manual of some sort in here. So, okay. Oh, I'll flip it over. All right. So here is the instructions for use. I am not gonna get into this. I don't want to. Join the fight. Join NRA. Boom. Firearm safety, the basic rules of. I read that backwards, but whatever. All right, next thing we got here, the customer safety awareness form. And then we got the Glock Sport Shooting Foundation. And then another insert. Congratulations on your Glock purchase. You have joined a family of Glock members who stand behind the Glock perfection promise. 65% of our nation's law enforcement professionals choose Glock. So that's a big statistic and I understand there are other great firearms on the market, but the people that sit here and bash Glock, I really frankly don't understand that. I really find that as uh, straight up hating. So I'm not judging anyone. I mean, they can judge me, I don't care. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive in to the firearm. So here it is. This is the Glock 43. I might be a little late talking about it in the video, but if you didn't already know about this, this is a nine millimeter gun, okay? So six plus one, so six in the mag, plus one in the chamber if you carry in the chamber, which we all recommend. Let's go ahead and put this in here so it feels complete. But uh, as far as the price goes, um, on Grab a Gun, I got this for 475 before tax. And uh, FYI, this is the night sight model. Okay, so that's one of the big things that I wanted on my next EDC was to have night sights just in case something occurs and at nighttime I'm out and about. I don't have that ambient lighting that I need. I have night sights. So these are metal as far as I know and really sturdy compared to the plastic sights on most base model Glocks, which are honestly I'm not gonna hate on them. I almost said that they're atrocious, but they're they're really not to me. I I shoot them really well, but as far as like reliability and sturdiness involved and visibility at night they're just not gonna cut it, honestly. So, as far as the gun goes, I believe it's about like 1.02 inches in width, so uh, really slim, not very tall. One of the things that I wanna do was compare this to the shield and compare the sizes of the two, which they are really similar. Let's go ahead and bring that out right now. So, as you see here, as far as the height goes, the shield is just a little bit taller, and the Glock is very, very slightly longer. But as far as the length of the gun goes, that's easily concealed. The part that is hard to conceal is gonna be the frame here where it sticks out. So a lot of people, let me go ahead and say this. A lot of people hate on the fact that the Glock is a six round capacity for the magazine and the shield and the XCS and a bunch of other subcompacts are seven round. But if you really consider the height of the gun, as far as the shield sticks out, they could have easily added an extra round. So one of my criticisms, and I'm not just jumping on the bad wagon saying Glock forever, but one of my criticisms is Glock has failed to release their own OEM extension extended mag for this. All they have is a flat base plate mag and extended mag of six rounds and that's all. And that's really upsetting and that's really terrible that they do that. So that's my biggest gripe about the gun, honestly, is that, oh, that Glock has not released an extended mag. Okay, so moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the trigger briefly. I think the trigger on this gun is really great. I don't think it's phenomenal by any means, but I think it's a great trigger for concealed carry. Comparing it to the shield I have to say that at this point I really like the shield trigger this is the performance center model so it's a little bit different than the standard first gen shield but on the shield it's very smooth I mean it, it's very smooth on the take up you hit that wall a very very crisp clean break and you can feel just absolutely feel and, and know when that uh, trigger resets you can hear right there I'll do it again boom well, maybe if I get a little closer you can hear it so you can hear that reset. Comparing the two triggers, this is clearly a lot more smooth. I think that the travel is a little bit longer on this. The brake on this, very, very, very smooth, very clean. I can't say enough about the trigger. I really like this trigger. Now going back to the Glock, I have to say one of the things that I notice about this trigger, the take up, it's a little bit mushy, a little bit, a little bit gritty. It's not as smooth. It's not as clean and refined as the shield, in my opinion. I'm not an expert trigger guy, but in my opinion, that's what I notice about 
about to take up. Now, when you hit that wall on the Glock, it's extremely noticeable. I don't know if that's just a big thing with Glock, but when you hit that wall, you hit that wall, and you know when it's gonna break. So very, very predictable, very tactile wall. Reset, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this closer to the camera. Let's go ahead and see it reset. You can hear it. I mean, that is a really noticeable reset. You feel it, you hear that snap, you hear that click. On this, I would say the trigger travel is a little bit shorter. I don't think that's a big deal. I still like the trigger. Both great triggers, but I have to be honest, they are completely different. So I have no qualms with either one. I have to say this one feels great. This one's perfectly fine for concealed carry, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna do another video. It's gonna be more in depth, and I'm gonna criticize like the trigger and how well that it shoots and this and that. So this is gonna be strictly an unboxing video. Again, guys, I've shot this at the range. Uh, I shoot it well. I already know really what to expect, but obviously I'm gonna run my concealed carry rounds and make sure that everything cycles well before I make this my official everyday carry option. But anyways, guys, this pretty much sums up the video. I will be doing more videos on this and other guns. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys wanna support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. As always, if you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you to all the new subscribers. The channel's been growing a lot. I'm really happy with the progress. I think 2019 is gonna be my year. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. You guys have a great one. This is Little Rice Muncher Gaming, signing off. Thanks.